Okay, everybody, I'm here at the F100 Super Nationals, and of course, we're going to be seeing some amazing, amazing pickups. Beautiful 56 Mercury here. This belongs to Dave, so I'm going to ask him some questions. Dave, how's it going, sir? Hi. All right, so please tell us about your truck. It's absolutely brilliant. Thank you. How long have you had it for? I've had it now about uh, four years. Four years? I imported it from Canada. Okay. Mercury's were only made in Canada. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did not know that. Yes, from 1946 to 1968 only. And you, a fan of the Mercury's, you've chased it all the way to Canada. Why? I, I did. <laughs> Because they're unique. They're, they're hard, unique. Yeah, they're hard to find. And okay. I like something a little different. What was the condition it was in? It was actually a turquoise color. It had been restored in 1995. Okay. By um, a Canadian, and uh, it had a whole different besides the paint. It yep. had a whole different suspension and engine and interior. So it's it's all been redone since I got the truck. So it's, you've changed the motor. What have we got here? Because I was checking out the engine before and. What is it? The engine is out of a 2008 Crown Victoria okay. police car P71. Nice. On top of it is a 2000, excuse me, 2003 Cobra supercharger. It puts out about 365 uh, horsepower at the wheels. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. And did you do that yourself? I did some of it. Um, it was it was fine-tuned by a, a shop in Georgia. Yep. Uh, Moe's Speed Shop. Um, they did they did some of the work on it as well. And um, front suspension is TCI coilover. Um, it's got power steering, power brakes, air conditioning. Just about anything, I guess. I mean, I love these pickups because, and this is I've said this before that with the pickup trucks, looks like the F100s as well. Back in the days, they were just a working truck. Yes. But now when they get restored, they just get turned into this thing made for cruising. Yeah. And you've done that. Thank you, you made it into a hot rod. Thank it you. looks amazing. The interiors look beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. It's I no can... longer a work truck. No. <laughs> I can open it up for you. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so in 56, is this what it would have looked like, or is it all custom now? That's generally what it would have looked like. The dashes had an uh, engine turned aluminum applied to it. The uh, instrument cluster is Dakota Digital. Um, it would have been very basic in 1956. Yeah. <clears throat> if you notice in the center there, there's a little mercury head man right above the mirror. <clears throat> That's from a 1950 mercury. It's, a, it's off a... Uh, oh, wow trunk emblem. So what does that resemble? That's actually a, a flying mercury head, mercury man. Okay. It's a symbol of mercury. It's a symbol of mercury. Yes. I love it. I learned something new. Like I say, every car show, everybody. But the interior was brilliant. done by Steve Holcomb. It's, uh, it's all leather. I love the stitching. This looks so good. Thank you. Looks very nice. I love what you've done here with the trims. Look at that. The door panels were made by the gentleman behind us. Misfit Fab. Okay, so he's just there. Yeah, he's not right there, I don't <laughs> think, but it's aluminum and he bead rolls everything there. And then I had it uh, it blacked out by Chris Nash of Sevierville. Wow. Wow. There you go. There you go. You got to sm uh, smash the old ones. <laughs> All right, so tell us about the bed, Dave. Okay, the bedwood is um, bird's eye maple. I made it myself, finished it. You made the wood planks yourself? I did, yes. Wow. And did you install it as well? Yes. Very neat. Mustang, uh, excuse me, the uh, gas tank is a 16-gallon Mustang tank. And then the, uh, the filler cover is from Fat Fender Garage. That's a, a milled aluminum. It's a nice piece. Very nice. Tuck the bumpers front and rear. Yeah. Dual exhaust, stainless steel with polish ends. Wheels no. are steel. The wheels are steel. What wheels have we got here? 15 by 10 in the back, 8 by 15 in the front. Running BF Goodrich TA radials produced by Diamondback tires. It's got a three inch white wall. It, it really adds to the look, doesn't it? Having the slightly bigger wheels at the back. It does, I think. Yeah, yeah 100%. Like most guys run it that way. 100%.
and I love that it's been lowered. It's this about trucks, as, you got to lower it. It's uh, yeah, you have to lower it. <laughs> It's about as low as it can go, honestly. I bet, I bet, without having um, crazy air rides on it. That's right. Well, that's awesome, Dave. I appreciate that. Thank you, Thank my you pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Nineteen fifty-five Ford, and it's named Sharky. Yes. Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, under the hood is a graphic of a shark. Yeah. It's hand painted. Hand painted. And uh, so we decided. We, my wife and I, we call it Sharky, and and so we uh, just established that as the truck's name. Why not? It's absolutely brilliant. The blue goes so well, and I'm loving the ghost flames. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, a true hot rod here. Now, what's the engine you've got? The engine is a, a Ford 460, and it's Borden stroke to 514. Wow. People have asked us, what kind of mileage do you get? And my wife says, we get smiles to the gallon. <laughs> Miles to the gallon. What does that mean? <laughs> Instead of miles per gallon, we get smiles per gallon. Fair enough. Because we're always grinning when we're driving it. <laughs> and this, do you, how often do you drive this? Oh, we drive it pretty often. Okay. Now we trailered here because yes. we're from Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, that's a long but, drive. Um, yeah, we drive it around our area only on nice days. It's too only hard to clean nice off underneath, you know. <laughs> of course, of course. And I love this here, the firewall is actually a mirror. Yes, yes. You can see my hand there. Wow, I have not seen that one before. I mean, it really completes it and it's so I haven't so seen good it with before that either. It's, uh, it's not very popular to do that, but it sure is it nice looks looking. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. What have we got here? Is something looking original inside? Mm -hmm. I'm loving the centerpiece. So he's kept some elements original in the truck yes. and customed the others. Yep. It looks good. And the wood just looks so nice with it, doesn't it? Yes. Very nice. Now, were you looking for an F100? Yes. Brad? Yes. Okay. Yes. In fact, my wife found it online and uh, she knew it had to have a Ford engine. Yep. And we, <laughs> We found, she found it in, in it was in um, Vineland, New Jersey. Yep. And I said, can you take the day off tomorrow, you know, yeah. the next day? So we went and looked at it and... And why, why were it. you looking for an F100? Well, this is a 55. Yep. And I am born in 55, and so that's, I've always been a Ford. Yep. I'm 100% Ford, and so, you're at the right show. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, 55 is appropriate. And it's, I think, one of the better looking fat fenders. It looks good. It looks really good. It's brilliant. That's awesome. The blue trucks do stand out, don't they? Yeah. That's awesome. Now you're in here today, are you um, looking at participating? Is there a competition or because you're here inside? There's, there's, there's some judging, but I guess they yeah. judge outside also. But okay. inside only because it's, you know, it's a, a three day show. I don't want to be outside and get caught in the rain. Mm -hmm. So we decide to spend the money to yeah. bring them inside. Then we don't have to worry about the weather. Because we do trailer here. Yes. Well, that makes sense. Thank you so much for You're your time. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you.
Wow, this looks like a full ground up restoration. Frame off. All right. Got the old red. It's a six Ford. The best what, sorry? Best thing to clean your windows. Okay, why is that? Well, you don't need a chemical. Most people reach for a Windex or glass plus or paper towels. Yes, me this included. Is American made nanofiber. So I'll show you something real quick. Uh, what I'm putting on that window is Crayola Crayon. And if you did that at home, you'll get it off. But here's what's going to happen. You're going to streak hazer film. Yep. It'll absorb the oil at a microscopic level. So with yep. this, you just wet it in water and watch this. No chemical, no Windex, no Glass Plus, no 409. Now watch how this window dries. Here's your oil, your film, your grease and grime, your yep. window. I'm going to show you this. Lift it up to see. Spot free. Wow. So that will do that on windows, glass, mirrors, chrome, isinglass, built aluminum. Okay. Anywhere on the body of the truck or car. Yep. And then anywhere in your home, like on a glass mirror window in your car. A lot of people, when they clean the windshield, you get a streak of hazer film. Yes. With this, you never get a film or streak. And out here, I'm rinsing. At home, you can actually just throw them in the washing machine. And then the white one is for glass and mirrors in your home. So this is our original cloth. They're called streak free. And you do the same thing. Wet it, wring it, and wipe. Now on television, the cloths are quite expensive, and the reason why, it takes about 30 microfiber to make a nanofiber. Right. So out here, instead of $20 on television, we give you two for 20, and we also throw in three of the streak-free originals for All 20 bucks. All for 20 bucks. Yes, ma'am. Well, so I like to clean my car. You'll love it. I like to clean my car, and I like to clean my windows at home, and I'm a sucker for these things, and I like to support the vendors. So you've sold me. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> everybody here at the F100 Super Nationals. Now, as I showed you guys earlier, my interview with Danny. Now I've got Jeff here. He's the other brother. Now you brothers have taken over the F100 Super Nationals, yes, and you are going to be continuing this. And as I mentioned to your brother, so happy that you guys are doing that so the show can continue and it's not going to shut down because we don't want shows like this to stop because people are retiring. No, we're not going to stop it. We're going to be right here pretty much. You know, we have no intentions of moving from this spot. We have no intentions of changing anything. We want to leave it family oriented, good people because we consider everybody to be family. You know, for us, it's people first. 
Yeah, no, absolutely love it. And it is a very good location here at the Civilville Convention Center because you've got great outdoor space. You've got a specific space there for the swap and meets and then you've got the indoor facilities with aircon, bathrooms, restrooms, which is everybody always appreciates. So no, it's, it's a great show and I'm happy that you guys have picked it up. Were you deciding, how did you come across the idea of wanting to take over? We did swap meet for years. Our, our dad passed away and we decided to come to the truck show as brothers and we started coming probably about 12 years ago mm -hmm. and we started off as swap meet and we just heard that he was retiring and was going to sell it so we we worked it out and yeah. we bought it so and this is our first year and we're still working on some things trying to make it better we want it to grow because yeah. we remember when the truck was the truck show was 1200 trucks exactly and we want we want to get it back to that point well, I think it will. I mean, the F100 community is absolutely big. People love it. It's a big culture and it's already been running for 45 years. Mm -hmm. So you know that people love this. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is, as your brother was telling me, is you're expanding that mm -hmm. as well with the years. So tell us a little bit more. Um, with the trucks, we, we, we don't have a cutoff. Mm -hmm. we, we, we accept all Ford trucks and we even have some class for Ford friends like some of your Mustangs, your Galaxies, your shoe boxes, stuff like that. So we want to bring everybody and get everybody involved with it. So you got some knuckleheads running around here always trying to play games. That's what makes it so fun. Is, I mean, no, no, nobody, nobody's immune to the joke. So. Yep, that's true. And why not? Because you got people who appreciate Mustangs and then they've also got an F100. I've seen that. I've interviewed people who've had an F100 on one side of them yep. and a Mustang on the other yep. side. Yeah. So that's definitely a good way to go about yeah. things. And that's, what, that's the way we want to keep it. We don't want to change it. You know, and like I say, we're, we're trying to grow it. We want yep. it to grow and we, we have we have plans in place to try to keep it going. And part of that is being good to the people and that's the way we're going to be. That's, and that's, that's a great thing. way to be. It's a very good start and um, I wish you all the luck. Uh, you're not going to need it, but I'll be here again next year, sir. Come on back. We'd love to see you here. You're great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it looks like a beautiful 49. Absolutely, I'm loving the color here. Have a kind. All right, I'm gonna have a chat with Quinn Q Man. How you going? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Good, good. Love it. Absolutely love the pickup. One of a kind. Why is it one of a kind? Well, I'm a big Ford fan mm -hmm. because of my grandpa, and he passed away in 2005. And I've just, you know, trying to keep these type of trucks in memory of him. That's awesome. They are beautiful trucks. We Absolutely. can't deny that. Now it's a 1949. How long have you had it for? Uh, three years actually. Three years, okay. And did you buy it as it was? I as bought it, it as it was. Very we, nice. We, my dad and I, we did a few changes to it. But okay. It's, uh, it's been a great truck. Well, it looks nice. What's the, um, what's the engine here? What am I looking at? It's a flathead V8. Flathead V8. I'm gonna put turn this into a little hot rod. <laughs> Very nice. I'm gonna have a look inside the interiors as well, and then we're definitely gonna have a look inside the bed because I just heard you tell the other gentleman it's not wood. That's right. It's actually aluminum. That yep. looks like wood. That looks like wood. And what are the benefits of that? It's just style. Yeah. It's a very beautiful bed, actually. Okay, well, let's go and have a look at that. And before we do it, I'm gonna see if we can turn down that music inside. Yeah. <laughs> that way I don't have to cut anything out from this beautiful 49. <laughs> All right, Q-Man, so you cut the music off through your phone. So that means that this thing is hooked up with Bluetooth. That's right. Okay, it looks, now it's getting better on the inside just as it looks good on the outside. Let's have a look. <laughs> nice. Nice, so you've, well, whoever restored it, they've restored it back to looking as it would have been in 49? Uh, the original, we took the original dash out, that's a uh, aftermarket dash. Okay. And it's got a Bose speaker. Bose speakers. I've got them in my car, so I do like them. Oh, yeah. And everything else is pretty much original. Love it, love it. Something about appreciating these bench seats. And we're going to move all the way back here into the bed. Oh, wow, that is nice. Oops.
You know what, man? You did this really well. You did it really well because I, I'm loving the different tones. I'm going to bring down your umbrella with my back. <laughs> Wow, it looks so real. I mean, it is, but it's just, I love the colors and very nice. Any more plans to get some more forts? What's your plans now? Uh, no plans anytime soon. Mm -hmm. I do like this. And this is, uh, how many times have you been to the F100 Super Nationals? Uh, I've been going for like 15 years. And 15 years. This is my second year with the truck, so. Nice, nice. Well, um, you were there at the um, F100 Grand Nationals mm -hmm. in Pigeon Forge, yep. which I was there as well. One of the first shows that I went to. And honestly, that was the first time that I actually saw the F100s up close. And I loved it. So when I found out about the Super Nationals, I was like, okay, I have to be here. <laughs> Well, but that's awesome. I appreciate that, man. That's that's a very cool truck. I love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you. It's nice. It's very nice. Enjoy. Thank you. Go and it matched the 1973 Even better. It was my great granddad's. All right, Scott. Thanks for that, Krista. You're welcome. Okay. Tell us, what have you got here? Well, it's a 1956 F100. Yep, and it's a family car. Yeah, it was a family truck. It was my great granddad's. Um, everything's original, except for the bed, the running boards, and motor and transmission. Okay. When I was 10, we went down to family farm and got it out of the barn. And my wife and I went on dates in this truck in high school. Wow. Um, Chris, you should come up here as well. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I absolutely love it when the couples are involved. This it's, is original. It's the original seat. Wow. It's, um, it's been, of course, it's been redone. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're still working on the interior. Those mats aren't going to stay in here. I just haven't picked what we're going to do yet. Fair enough. That's the original steering wheel, steering column, brake pedal, gas pedal. Um, it's fascinating how much they didn't have on the dash, right. yet they didn't need it. Right. It was just the well, necessary stuff and that was it. Right. This particular truck only had a heater. That's um, it. We are going to put a heating and air in it. but So it's okay if you get hot because you just turn down the window. That's right. Well, but it, if it, you get cold, then they've thought of that. Right. <laughs> right. And I've still got the original door key. Original That was original to key. this truck. Yep. Wow, that's amazing. And yep. your grandfather, obviously, he got it new, I'm guessing. Well, we are still researching to find out exactly if that was the case. Yeah. We know he was the first owner in the family. Great-grandfather. Okay. Yeah, great-grandfather. Okay. And, we, um, and we're in the process now. We've got pictures of it in the 90s, but we're trying to find research family history yep. to see if we can find pictures of it when it was on the farm. I absolutely love that. But anyway, oh yeah, we love it too. We've had, <laughs> I we, can we've, see. We've, we've had people ask, oh, will you sell it? Well, absolutely not. It's a family <laughs> truck. Well, I saw Scott and Krista and you guys were at the swap meets. What were you looking for? Obviously it was for this truck. Well, we, we saw him in May. Okay. And originally this, this truck had the chrome around the window. Oh, right. Okay. And so we bought that um we bought the um, sun visor arms and i bought original the springs we had some leaves taken out in there two weeks because i use this truck i drive it in, you know when nice I'm that's what we want so he's selling me some original parts okay um but now tell me you guys dated in this truck Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So Krista, you've had a lot of memories in this as well. Some, yes. <laughs> in the late 80s and early 90s. Yeah, yeah. Some we won't talk about. <laughs> you know what, it's beautiful because you've got this and it's going to be kept for your kids, for your grandkids oh, no. and to have your story and your love story be part of it as well. It just makes it that much more special. We didn't say special. we loved each other, we just said we went on dates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair uh, enough. Don't let well, him yeah. get away with that. <laughs> Is it, 
This is a, we're gonna put together a photo album. This was what it looked like in 1993. Okay, so what did you do to it? You've, you've changed the color? Yep. And um, the transmission? Apart. We changed the motor and the transmission. So what motor did you put in here? It's a... Uh, Good work, Ford in a Ford? Yep, oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, a 1993 Mustang GT 302. Oh, nice. And it's got an automatic overdrive transmission and we're still, we're still finishing it up. I, these aren't, these headers don't belong on it, but I'm having yep. a hard time finding something and I'm going to have to have some made up. I've been well, what I'm understanding, spring. Scott, is you're going to be doing a lot more to this. Oh yeah. You know, I'm seeing, I'm, I mean, it's a nice color, but I'm seeing something even more brighter. I'm seeing a more flush firewall back there and it looks like you're going to do a lot more. If you, if you come to the one in May, I'll have my hood emblems on and I'm having those special Well, sir, I was um, in the May one this year too. Right. Well, so we didn't you bring, can check we out didn't, the videos. But, we didn't um, bring the truck, but yeah, we need to look at it. And I'll there. definitely be at the um, Grand Nationals, F100 Grand Nationals run by the Carpenter family and Ford, Dennis Ford, so love that. Yes. So I'll definitely be there again. It was one of the first shows I did because so many people here, that's how they knew me and they saw my videos from that show. But I've done a lot more since then, as you know. <laughs> but that's Good. awesome. I mean, I love it. So when are you going to start? You've already started working on this, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. So in May, everything's going to be finished, hopefully. Well, I don't know if everything's going to be finished. Yeah. But we're going to get heat and air put in it. That's a must. Like I said, the, uh, the hood emblems, I'm having them special made. What's special, it gonna be? Special done. I'm not telling. Because, because <laughs> I have I have It's never, only me and the camera here. Right. Who else is around? I have not seen anybody do it. <laughs> okay. And so and I want my personal opinion, mm -hmm. if you buy new, it's made in other countries. Yep. And for me, this should only have American made stuff on it. Well, so there's one, a lot of people who would agree with that personal opinion of yours. So, so good on you. We've bought older um, weathered, yep. if you will, yep. parts that I'm having special done hubcaps and hood emblems. So that'll be done in May. Um, I'm so excited! Like <laughs> the, <laughs> the um, and see this. This is where the heater core used to be. I just plugged up the hole because when we drive it in, right. when we drive it in, you know, February, March, yep. January, it gets a little cold. So that's going to be done. We're going to have the heating and air in it. I hope yep. in May. You guys here from Tennessee? Georgia. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, this sounds like it's going to be absolutely striking. And any hints on the color? Oh, this yep. is a um, Ford boxwood green. And what would you do to the Ford boxwood green, sir? I'm not going to change it. I'm leaving it just like it is. Okay, okay. It's nice. I like it. But you're, you're telling me you're doing something oh, crazy well, with the well, hood, so well, that's what's going to... It's for the... It's for the the hood yeah. ornaments. Okay. Okay. I'm not telling you. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to come in. Oh, I'm persistent. You try. Here, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. See, what we're talking about is there's supposed to be a custom cab. Yep. That goes right here. Yes. Yep. I've seen that. And then you have the it says Ford and F100 that goes on either yeah, side. Yeah, but you're going to do something different. It's going to be those, but okay. something's going to be different. Okay, well, if you do it really well and it draws a lot of attention, people might ask you for, you know, wanting to do it for them. Or job. That, that's fine. <laughs> yep. Anybody can do whatever. Yeah. You know, but they're not doing it until I do it. <laughs> so I'm not telling anybody. Well, you could then sell it to them. <laughs> uh -huh. That's right. Oh, well, that's awesome. No, I appreciate that and I'm really excited. So I'm going to get some details off you guys so we can catch up again in May. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. when I was six years old and about uh, 15 years ago he gave it to me okay so, let's just repeat that for the viewers 1976 f100 here mm -hmm. your dad bought this new brand new mm -hmm. brand right. new in, in Cleveland Tennessee and then he passed it on to you 15 years ago mm -hmm. that's pretty unique I do like that I'm, I always say I get drawn to the cards with the oil I love those stories so one owner literally one owner mm -hmm. you or your father 
and it's it looks good i can see that the underneath the hood you've done some things to it mm -hmm. what have you got here uh well uh, rebuilt it's a new motor uh, it came with a 302 in it me and my dad built that motor and put in it uh spent the last year with him doing everything new brake booster uh pulley set but the motor has been done for about 20 years and it's still wow. running great can you explain what the pulley set here is uh just aluminum pulleys and brackets just to make it pretty okay make it look better well you know what it stands out yeah <laughs> it's got me then, questioning so <laughs> uh i made this cover to cover yep. the air conditioner compressor because they're just ugly from the factory so right i made that to cover that air conditioner compressor just to make it look better beautiful and what have we got here what's this black thing that's the, the blower for the air conditioning and heating ah you've got aircon in this as well air conditioning power steering power brakes very nice did it have aircon in um mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but you've upgraded it it didn't have power brakes i put power brakes on it it had disc brakes it had manual brakes no power it just manual brakes okay. very hard to push okay so now it's like driving a modern car with power brakes well, it looks good. It looks good. Have you kept the same paint color? Yes, it is the same paint color. Very nice. And and what is that? What would you it's call it? It's a hatterish green. It's a Ford factory color. Okay. Okay. Very uh, nice. The truck came from the factory with a white stripe. Uh, I decided not to put the white stripe back on it. Yeah, I'm glad. Leave it the solid color. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It looks it looks more better, I think. Yeah. It would have just taken away from the color because I do mm -hmm. like the color. It's. Yeah. Greens are catching my eye these days. Now, what's happening here on the interior? Uh, what's original? Uh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> new dash, new steering wheel, new seat, new carpet. But you've kept the original look. The original look. Yeah. Uh, original instrument cluster. Nice. Um, but that's being, I'm going to switch that out this fall to a digital, a Dakota digital. Okay. Now, so. this is manual. Automatic. It's automatic. Mm -hmm. So down it's there. On the column. Okay. It's on the column. It's on the column. Mm -hmm. So what's there? That's not a clutch. The th the... That's the emergency brake. Okay, you have done well. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Okay. And then and this truck will go to my youngest son, and then to his son, my grandson. So. They should keep it. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. My grandson loves Gotta it. Got to keep it in the family. He loves it. I do like that. So yeah, this truck will. It's a family heirloom, it'll never go anywhere. Where was that white stripe? It's from here to here. Oh, no. Down the whole side of the road. Oh, it's, it was pretty much half and half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, this, it looks a lot more flush, like, better like this. Yeah, yeah. I think so. And I think so too. It, so. The, the cool thing about it is I got to spend the last, this past whole year with my dad. Yeah. Every day, working on this truck. So, that was, that was cool. The dream that was it and that's what we love when it comes to restoring the classics not only does it take you down to memory lane if it is your own but if it gets handed down then you're just creating more memories that will then be passed on to future generations because mm -hmm. beautiful working on cars is an amazing thing and everybody should get into it now you've got a row of nice trucks behind you and you guys are all friends mm -hmm. so is it a club we don't call it a club, it's just okay. a bunch of guys that love trucks and get along with each other and hang out together. Some people would call that a car club. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good because I got told that I had to come back and see these guys and the whole um, row here looks absolutely beautiful. Now Jeff with his um, truck, the orange one here, I saw him in Somerset at one of the um, Summer Nights cruises down there and I got that interview as well so I know that's a beautiful truck I, I was drawn to that so I was able to get that interview with Jeff happy to have a chat with you today appreciate it Thank you. Um, looks beautiful and I'm glad for your memories and hopefully you'll make more with your sons thank you thank you a lot so going on and that actually looks pretty um natural rust as well it doesn't look like they've um no, got it done and then you raise the hood and you've got a 5.9 coyote engine oh, in there oh, well. everybody it's always fun running into friends just saw jimmy again here i saw you at the shades yes and uh, we connected on facebook so it's good to have you here thank you so much for watching the channel oh, i appreciate I your it. feedback what you do and what's your favorite part about rana's radar that you are able to walk up and talk to the people and get their story. 
I just ask what's going on. <laughs> yeah. But then you ask a question and then man, they just open up. That's it, isn't it? Oh, it's a 32 and it's got this yep. and it's got that. Because there is so much love and passion when it comes to these classic cars and that passion just grows more when the restoration process begins. Right. And right. then everyone's got a story behind that about who helped them, what they were doing, how long it took them. Um, I just find it very fascinating. The part they don't ever tell you is how much money they spent. Oh yes, oh yes. But you know what, you can't take it to the grave, so you might as well put it under That's the hood. exactly right. <laughs> well, the way I look at it, it's an investment. Exactly, exactly. Well, I appreciate that. It's so good to see you as always, good Jimmy. Good to see you. I enjoy your videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Good luck, Sam. Good man. That piece there is you there on the bottom. That piece you're looking at. Very nice, sir. Thank you. Very nice. What have you got here? Uh -huh. What year is this? 51. 51. 1951 four wheel drive. You gotta appreciate that black with the orange. You like that black? I do. I'm Rana. I'm Richard. Richard, nice to meet you, sir. Nice you. Where are you from? You're not from Tennessee. I don't sound like I'm from Tennessee. No, I'm from Australia originally. Australia. Yeah, but I'm now in Tennessee. Perfect. Why don't you come over here and tell us about your truck? Uh, it's a 1951 Ford four wheel drive. And how long have you had it for? I've had it about 18 years. 18 years. So I'm guessing the restoration process, you were all part of that. Uh, no, actually I was not. No? No. Okay. Uh, I bought the truck and uh, I've drove it, worked on it ever since. I've done a lot of changes to it. Okay. But I didn't actually build build the truck, no. Wow, so this has been like this for 18 years? It's been like this for about 25 years. For 25 years? Yes, it has. I do like it. And I drive it down here from Indiana. I've been down here a month. I got a cabin here. Yep. Yeah. And I'm not married, so I come down and shine up a little bit. I what does that have to do I with anything? Stay, well, I come down and stay all month. Okay. okay. Yep. Yep. Well, there's a lot doing anything. You don't have to share. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I can see you like to drive this around. You've got some pretty cool wheels on that. What is it? The wheels? Yep. They're just an old stock spoke wheel that chrome to and uh, I don't know, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Had it pinstriped about four years ago. Danny Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky pinstriped it. Danny Taylor. Yep. And what's under the hood? Small block Chevy. Nice. You want to see it? Yep, sure. Go for it. Dirty. Like I said, I've been down here a mile. Small block Chevy to get you around, hey? Nice. Now these Ford guys, they just cringe over that. Oh, let's not get into oh, that. They, they just get all jacked. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you need to so do, what do, you do for your truck. You're on YouTube, you're on Rana's radar. I'm going to give you some details. Okay. But thank you for that. All right.